Hi there, Cosmic Family. My name is Jehlial in this incarnation, and today I wanted to leave this message linked with Pluto because yesterday, October 10th, Pluto became direct. And in the video of the eclipse, I think that I explained that when uh, every planet becomes direct, uh, it starts to liberate their force, and we, we feel it uh, in a more intense way, too. So Pluto is the regent of social movements. Uh, it's a planet that is more uh, collective, but we've been feeling in, in the individual experience because Pluto in Capricorn is in this activation with Mars in Libra. And Mars is a personal planet, is the planet of action, and is the planet that rules conflicts. So that's why we are seeing what we are seeing in the collective, and that's why uh, it's very important right now to work in our in the elevation of our consciousness. So, um, in the individual level, this activation with Mars is about experiences that are coming from our resurfacing because Pluto is very linked with the unconscious and with the light that is not revealed, which is darkness. Um, so, these experiences that uh, could could cause pain and could cause anger. Anger is a quality that is very linked with Mars. Are uh, transformations that we really have to face because that energy uh, was causing an imbalance and because it is time to let it go. So um, in a collective way and also in an individual, uh, it's very important to understand that when, when we have to do an, a transformation, everything has to emerge all the all the shit, you know, um, because we we are able to do the the real modifications or the real changes from this profound contact with what the experience, the real experience is. So I I think that transformations are are something that uh, we do many times in one experience. We we died. And, and rebirth many times in our lives and resilience and rebirth are qualities of Pluto too. So in other videos I explained that Pluto is the power. So I think that the real power of Pluto is understanding that the spirit that is inhabiting us is invincible. If we really let that life and experience take away everything that is dead, all the parts of ourselves that are dead. And that in every transformation, in every dead, we are contacting with a, a more pure essence of ourselves. So every death actually is a, um, a purification when we are surrendering ourselves to life and not that I am saying life, not death, because after every transformation of Pluto, uh, we have to, to focus in, in contact with everything that has um, movement, that have movement and light, and to feed those things. So there's nothing that can really destroy us, um, destructive energy in an um, illusional level, uh, are the the thoughts of the disconnected ego uh, that thoughts that that are taking our power away are taking the the authority of co-creation in our lives and the attachment to experiences the focus on destructive experiences and every experience can turn destructive if we are resisting the lesson or we are giving space to something that is not evolutionary anymore. So, uh, dark nights are not for the soul. Dark nights are for the ego and our biggest falls, the most painful ones, are actually the, the biggest lessons that we had to acquire. And many of those were caused by, by our soul. So, I just want to leave this reflection today. Thank you, everyone, and see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.